we know that earth surface is not heated uniformly right it means that the air at the land part and water part is not heated in the same manner this is the point we discussed in the lower class the land which is far from the sea heats very fast than the land which is near to the sea right so air above the land eats more quickly than the area uh, then than the air above the water body similarly it also becomes cool in the same manner that means land cools faster than the water right so due to the difference in the absorption of heat and becoming cool between land and water bodies the temperature is not uniform in all the places okay so as the temperature is different from uh, one place to another place in the same manner air pressure also varies from one place to another place right where temperature is high there air pressure is low where temperature is low there air pressure is high so why does the temperature is varying because there is a difference in the absorption of heat by land and water body this is the reason or not so we see here in lower class you have learned that there is a relationship between latitudes and seasons right that is the tropical latitudes receive the most intense amount of solar radiation than the temperate or polar latitudes that receive less intense solar radiation that in the lower class we discussed the tropics tropic in the sense uh, equator above and below that is to the north of equator and to the south of equator is called uh, tropics instead so at the tropics we see the temperature is uh, high so that it is called a tropical zone instead it is very hot because there sun rays fall vertically directly instead so tropics are hotter than the rest of the world instead around the tropic dear students let me show you that this is uh, what to call tropical area this equatorial low pressure belt is there so this is what we call a tropical area instead so here we see that there the temperature is high right because which is directly exposed to the solar radiation there the sun rays fall vertically instead moving from this uh, tropics okay to the some higher latitudes higher latitudes there we see that uh, the temperature is uh, less because there the sun rays fall slantly understand in in that way we see that uh, there the temperature is uh, what to call uh, lower than the tropics that what we call subtropical pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt we call it understand and moving further north and south it is at the poles 
there the sun rays may not fall vertically even slantly also very slight so there it is very very less temperature so that there the pressure is high we discussed there is a inverse relationship between temperature and air pressure so here we see that the air pressure is high at a polar regions and the temperature is very low because there sun rays does not fall directly so the polar we call it a polar high pressure belt instead so in this way we see that there are differences in the absorption of heat at different parts of the earth temperature is different in different parts of the earth based on differences in the temperature that is the heat absorbed by the earth is not uniform hence the pressure belts also different instead what you call uh, somewhere temperature is high it means that heat is more where heat is more there the temperature is high where temperature is high there pressure belt is low air molecules are low so at equatorial zone the temperature is high and air molecules are low in number so we call it equatorial low pressure belt this area what do we call equatorial low pressure belt this one okay here uh, what we call it is also called itcz that is it is called intertropical convergence zone inter tropical convergence zone which one equatorial low pressure belt okay now let us see that how the air will influence the winds right so here we see that at equatorial region due to the low pressure belt instead that is the temperature is high listen very carefully my dear students at equatorial low pressure belt the temperature is high first point because vertical direct falling of a sun rays at equator instead there the sun rays fall directly on this area that is equatorial area right so here the temperature is high when temperature is high in that place what happens to the air molecules of that place their air molecules are heated okay once again air molecules in the sense air air in that area heated air in that area heated so heated air rises from that area right so this air rises which air heated air from the equatorial low pressure belt it starts ascending moving to higher places instead so what kind of a pressure belt formed at a equatorial zone some of the air molecules started moving up that means equatorial area turned with less molecules in that area it mean low pressure belt is there so keep this aside now coming to the uh, subtropical high pressure belt this area dear students i'll show you okay just a minute this is uh, what you call subtropical high pressure belt this one right here 
the sun rays fall somewhat slantly somewhat slantly instant it mean here the sun rays does not fall vertically like at equatorial zone right so as the temperature as as there is difference in the falling of the sun rays what i want to say this is at equatorial it is low latitudes moving from equator to the north and to the south gradually latitudes will increase right so as the latitude increases then what happens to the solar radiation the solar radiation is in sorry insulation insulation received in that area will be low because of the higher latitudes there the sun rays does not fall vertically that is directly at a subtropical high pressure belts so that there the temperature is low when temperature is low it mean that air molecules are cool there right so such air molecules from high pressure belt because of uh, what is meant by high pressure belt air molecules are high there so just now we discussed from the equatorial zone there is a low pressure so here air molecules of subtropical high pressure belt listen very carefully air molecules of high pressure belt that is air from high pressure belt blows towards uh, equatorial low pressure belt to neutralize it and stand and another thing the third point what i want to say when you are at equatorial low pressure belt the heated air raised into the higher places so as air heated air starts moving up it gradually becomes cool and starts descending so while descending it does not come in the same path okay when it uh, tries to approach in the same path here at this path only what happens here the heated air is rising above from the equator does not allow the descending cool air so that the descending cool air is pushed towards a subtropical high pressure belt when air the cool air is descending when the cool air is descending at a equator equal low uh, at equator when the cool air is descending at equator warm air from equator will not allow it to descend so the cool air which is descending at equator is pushed towards subtropical high pressure belt towards north and subtropical high pressure belt of southern hemisphere both side of the equator we see subtropical high pressure belts understand so what happens you are when the cool air is pushed to the subtropical high pressure belt already air pressure is high at subtropical high pressure belt so that we call it a high pressure belt so as as air pressure is high in subtropical high pressure belt when the cool air is descending at a subtropical high pressure belt is pushed towards equator understand in which direction it is pushed it is pushed in the northeast direction in the northern hemisphere dear students in a northern hemisphere it is pushed in the northeast direction in southern hemisphere it is pushed in southeast direction so in northern hemisphere these winds are called northeast trade winds as they are 
blowing in the direction of a northeast and in southern hemisphere they are blowing in southeast direction so they are called southeast trade winds instead so as the wind blow to the equatorial low pressure belt then these winds are heated again rises into the high so throughout the earth we find air is circulated and stand from one place to another place so actually this air in a northern hemisphere and in a southern hemisphere should blow in straight line but they are bending towards the northeast in a northern hemisphere and southeast in southern hemisphere because there is a Coriolis effect we know that earth is rotating as earth rotates then along with the earth the winds also will bend right so let me take you to another diagram look at this what do you see here uh, this is the actual path of the wind dear student this is the actual path okay and we expected that the wind should blow straight towards north instead but what happened here it is bent that is bending towards right side in a northern hemisphere and in southern hemisphere it is bending towards what to call left side so what i want to say because of the coriolis effect the winds which are expected to move in a straight line will bend and stand right side in the northern hemisphere and left side in the southern hemisphere so why does these winds are bending because of the coriolis effect and stand they move slightly from straight line to the right and stand so due to the coriolis effect the winds blow in the northern hemisphere will bend towards its right side and in southern hemisphere the winds which blow bend towards its left instead due to the coriolis effect in that way atmosphere 